I'm Patrick Bailey with iQula. Today is May 30th, 2022, and in this video I'm going to show how to get a loft-like result in OpenSCAD using hulls. Okay, we're going to start out in Fusion 360, and for those of you familiar with Fusion 360 and lofts, I'm just going to show you how to, I'm going to kind of cover that again real quickly, and then we're going to go into OpenSCAD and see how we can get a similar thing to work even though there isn't a loft command in OpenSCAD. So what I can do here is I can, I've created an object, I can just go down here and create a sketch. And I'll come down here and we'll hit the S key. And of course these are my shortcuts, I'll use the center rectangle. Click on there and I'll say 50 and 25, boom. And then I'll go click on home, say finish sketch. And I'll right click, now that I'm out of the sketch, I can right click on this and I can create an offset plane. It just makes it easier for you know, well, for making a loft in this case, but also uh, for making another sketch at an exact different height. So I'll say 40, I'll right click on that, and create a sketch on this plane, and we'll, uh, let's see, we'll make something a little more interesting. Let's see, how about a circumscribed polygon? So I'll click on that, click there, and we'll say, We'll make it five, make it a pentagon, make a little offset like that. So it's a little odd. Hit finish sketch. And now we can see what I can do now is I can go over here to create and hit loft. Or in my case, I think I have it in my shortcut. I can hit S for my shortcuts while I'm in 3D mode. And there's my loft. If you don't have loft, you can use the search and search for it. So hit loft, select that bottom, select the top. And what it will try to do is it'll try to connect them and sometimes it does it in funky ways, but it's kind of cool. It can, it can, I use it a lot. It can have some interesting results. And so now you can see here is this funky shape that connects it all together. Um, it's a really useful tool. But there's nothing in OpenSCAD exactly like that, but you actually can do it with hulls. So if I go over here in OpenSCAD, hopefully you can see this where I have kind of this rounded uh, square down here, and then I have it connected up here. And you can see I'm getting a similar result on that, on that loft. It's, it's as if I had this funky shape down here and a circle and, it, and a loft in between them. And then kind of same thing for the bottom. There are some techniques that you could do for the bottom right there like that, but we can also do this with using holes. Okay, so I'll go through and we will wipe out some of this stuff. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Let me, let me start removing some of these holes that I made. See if we can get going here. Boom. All right. And then let's get rid of that hole too. And get rid of that one. And get rid of that one. Okay. So now you can see I've got all these different shapes. So normally I'm used to using holes, and maybe you are too, in a two-dimensional space. Uh, but they also do apply to three. But also you can kind of do a combination here. So if we go to the very bottom here, let me... There we go. Okay, so... Okay, took me a second. So we'll just focus on these dots. So I got these little dots down here. So all I did was make a circle. I already have a variable called lower radiate rad, which is just the radius, radius I want to do. So it's just a simple circle. There's a simple circle and a simple translate. So I wanted to put them on the four corners here in certain positions. Simple translate, simple circle. In fact, if I come at this one out, boom, you'll see that guy goes away. Okay, so now what we're used to is that's just in two-dimensional space. So what we're used to, at least I am, is I can bring back that hull in two-dimensional space and I get this little guy. And that's something I'm used to, but what would be nice is if you could have that this two-dimensional space like this, uh, this object, have another object on another plane and do something like um, loft in between them. But you can't. What you got to do is that you can do hulls. You can do hulls between 2D objects. You can do hulls between 3D objects. But you can't do, which will create a 3D object, but you can't do hulls between a 2D object and a 3D object. So what we have to do is to turn this 2D object into a 3D object using linear extrude. So here we'll do linear extrude. And what you can do, see I'll exaggerate here for a second, we'll do 10. All I'm doing is 0 0.1, so I'm making it very, very slight. So just very tiny. In fact, you could make it tinier than that if you wanted to. But 
point one works for me right now. So it's actually got three dimensional space, but just barely. And then I can go up here and I can, uh, let's see, we'll comment these guys out. See what I did up here. So here I've done, oh, let me, da, 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 comment those out, let's see. There we go. So up here I've also done something similar where I'm, I got three uh, circles, but in this case, I actually want to translate them. So I'm going to put them up at a higher plane. In fact, I'm actually doing it the same plane that I'm moving afterwards, but you know, it doesn't matter. So I'll, I'll take those three and we'll make a hole out of them. So now that's technically two dimensional space, nothing special there. But now we linearly extrude them in this case, I actually wanted to make them bigger. I mean, a, a linear extrude of 25. And that gets me this uh, rounded box. So now technically at the bottom, I have a 3D object. Here I have a 3D object. And now I can, now that they both exist, I can do a hole between both objects. So here is the rounded box. You know, here's a hole. And then down here is this little guy down here. The round, it's a rounded box too, but it's just just a sliver of one. And now if I do this, boom, they're attached. So I get that loft effect uh, with the hole 3Ds, 3D holes. Okay, and then let's see what else I got. And then I have, um, but you have to be careful how you want to do these. Usually what I, would, what I do is you don't go have object, 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 and do hole, 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 because it does not work very well that way. What better way to do is have two objects, hull it, and then take that other object, go to the next one, hole between those, and kind of attach, kind of like daisy chain them. So here, let's see if I can un, see what I did here. Boom. I'm trying to remember what I did. This is a microphone thing I'm working on. Let's see, hole. Doom, 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 doom. Da -da. That's correct. Okay, same thing. I'm making, what I'm doing is I'm making some small little, I'm, I'm re, re, recreating, uh, basically the object I'm creating is this, this box again. So I turn that into a hole. And then I'm going to take that and I'm going to linear extrude it just a slimy little bit, tiny little bit. And I'm going to move that, it's the same shape as the second box, move that to the very, very top with this translate. Boom, and so now uh, you can't quite see it, but oh, I could, um, if I remove the color from everything, and I made that red, I bet you we could, we'd see it. So color, red. Boom, see it's just that little sliver right up there. Little sliver of red. And then what I'm gonna do is I will turn, um, then after that, because that lines up at the very top, I'm going to bring this uh, cylinder underneath above it. And so we'll see that. So I'm going to haul both those together, which happen to connect everything together, like a daisy chain, daisy chain together. Okay, so we bring back that haul and oh, we got a haul. Oh, we got to delete that. Bring that guy back. There we go. And so now we've hold those together. So now you can see the, I had these two, that object and that object, use the holes to make a loft. That object, that object, use the hole to make a loft. And the two bottom ones were a similar shape, just one smaller than the other one. But this one we can see we're going from a square to a circle and it works. In fact, I can go down here into the cylinder. Well, in this case, just make a cylinder, right? A really small cylinder. But I can say Fn equals three. We can make it a weird shape. Oh. Maybe we can't. Can we do that? Yeah, maybe we can't do that. 
but I could uh, do a different object here. I could say a square. Uh, we could well let's, let's 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 fix this. Let's make a circle. Boom. And we'll make this circle fifteen with an F N equals a hundred just to test it real quick. And we'll say a linear extrude of one. And I think that should give us the exact same results. Oh. I would put that there. Oh, I need a dollar sign FN. Oh, maybe that's my problem. There we go. Oh, maybe I'm just being a dummy here. Even though those are equivalent. Okay, so I was correct. Those are equivalent. Okay, let's see if this works. Perfect. Okay. So see, now i got a funny shape. I have this triangle up here, and you can see it worked. Or I could say 5, make it a pentagon, and it will attach. So you can get some really interesting shapes. I, I love the idea of using lofts, and you can get that result uh, by using hulls between 3D objects. So you can make your 2D objects, uh, linear extrude them just a little bit, and then boom, you got that. So let's, let's make it 8 and see what happens. Yeah, look at that. Cool. So there's all that fun. Just wanted to share that. So with that, let's wrap this guy up uh, with a reminder that 3D printing is an engineering adventure that you're on. You can develop your skills and knowledge, and you can take this in so many ways. You can make a business out of this. You can teach others, and you can make amazing designs. So design it, engineer it. I'm going a little ape with the fridge magnet contest. I just put up a new kunai knife fridge magnet using the two-piece coupler method so I can get the nice color on the handle. Anyway, go check it out if you plan on becoming Hokage someday.